This video is presented by NewWoodworker.com. The New Woodworker Joints No. 1 disc begins with a look at how to prepare the material to help you ensure good joints. When the stock is prepared correctly, it lets you focus on making the joints, not overcoming problems built into the wood. We start with a look at how to make butt and rabbit joints the right way. We show you a simple way to cut a rabbit joint the right size the first time around. Along with gluing a rabbit properly, we show you another way to both strengthen the joint and dress it up. Just a little extra touch that really dresses up the entire project. Half lap joints are easy to make, strong, and have lots of uses. I'll show you how to sneak up on a good fitting half lap joint without wasting a bunch of wood. And before you know it, you'll be making perfectly flush half lap joints that have lots of uses in your woodworking. And I'll show you an old school but very easy way to add a little flair to your half laps. Cutting tongue and groove joints on your table saw is easy and produces a very strong joint. Here again, you don't need a lot of fancy equipment. You just need to know how to use yours to do it right. You'll see how simple procedures on common tools can yield great results. Throughout the DVD, we focus on working safely as well as accurately. The tongue and groove joint has been used for years for making simple doors. We'll even show you a simple way for measuring accurately for the inside panel. This is a joint that you'll definitely want to learn because you can use it the rest of your time in woodworking. Dados are another form of joinery that you don't need a lot of fancy equipment to make. We'll show you a few ways that you can cut good fitting dados and put them where you really want them. Learning to use solid setup and layout procedures will help you make better dados. Here again we take the time to show you how to do this safely. And we'll even show you a tool that you can build in your own shop that's very versatile when it comes to cutting dados. How about cutting a perfect fitting dado for a tapered piece? We'll also show you some important points about using things like stacked dado cutters. We have to be safe before we can be accurate. I'll show you that you don't have to fear stop dados. We'll show you a couple of ways of cutting the stop dado accurately. And if you promise not to tell, you even get to see me using a hand tool. We'll even show you a simple way of laying out the notch at the end of the board that fits into a stop dado. This is another type of joint that you can make lots of use of once you see how it's done. Finger joints have frustrated woodworkers forever. I fought with this joint for a long time myself, but then I figured out a way of doing it. I'll show you how to make a jig in your own shop that'll let you make this joint without a lot of frustration. You're still going to have to be accurate, and you're still going to have to build a jig, but I'll show you how to do this and actually make the finger joints that you can use. And before long, you're liable to be using box joints just to show off to other woodworkers. You practice up making these joints, and I'll get to work on a new woodworker's joints 2 DVD.